Let's say you like to use streaming services like Spotify and want to be able to listen to them on your home stereo. You could use your iPhone, but the little cable dangling out the front is not a great look. So what are the alternatives? Hi, I'm Ty Pendlebury and this is a review of the Sonos Connect and Connect Amp. Sonos's wireless players have been around for a while, but the products remain up to date by adding new services all of the time. The latest in a laundry list of services that includes Spotify, Mog and Pandora is Amazon's Cloud Player. Of course, the Sonos players will also stream music from your network and support most formats, including FLAC, WAVE and Apple Lossless. If you have high definition files, it won't play those though, and if this affects you, get the Logitech Squeezebox Touch instead. The main differences between the Connect and the Connect Amp should be obvious from the names. The Connect is designed to connect to an existing stereo, while the Connect Amp is a stereo unto itself. You just need to add speakers. Both players are controlled by apps for PC, Mac, smartphones and tablets. The app is very easy to use and lets you create custom playlists on the fly from a variety of different sources. The Sonos is a multi-room system and is able to integrate all of the different players in your home into the one app. The biggest advantage of the Connect players over the all-in-one Sonos Play speakers is that they have a line input. This means you can connect a separate player like a turntable or the TV and then have that stream around the house to other players if you like. So which one should you get? Though it's a bit more expensive at $500, I preferred the Connect Amp, especially when I used it as the basis of a stereo system. Being able to control it directly from the app is great and the amp was able to run any of the smaller speakers I tried. Sound quality was excellent with plenty of detail and drive. And though it's more expensive than Google's Nexus Q, there's no competition. It's a much better product. The Connect, on the other hand, was also good, but it's $100 more expensive than the Squeezebox Touch. And if you're just looking for a player and no multi-room playback, I'd say get the Squeezebox again. In terms of value for money though, the Play 3 is still the easiest, cheapest and best way to get into the Sonos ecosystem. This has been Ty Pendlebury for CNET.com.